up everybody? My name's Kano. I'm outside of Roar in Athens, Ohio. I'm about to do a record roulette. So let's see what records I pick. That was the part I was talking about, I was just like, real quick, keyboard like. So I got all my selections now, so we're gonna head down to my studio. I'm gonna grab my audio interface and everything I need, and then we'll get to cooking. It's not like poker face. simple like instrumental so I can just drag it drag all my readings like this and everything go ahead exactly how it's supposed to Yeah, so, I mean, as soon as I took the blindfold off, I was thinking this was it. I thought this was it. This was the one, right? Like, but it wasn't. <laughs> Went on to the next one. And then I was thinking, hey, maybe maybe some cool, like some psychedelic cool stuff, like some MF Doom, um, One Beer, I think that's the song. Kind of like that. That's like kind of the, the lane I was thinking, but... Uh, that also didn't work out. So it ended up being this one, which is funny because this is the one that I thought that I was not going to even touch. And I don't know, it just goes to show that like, hmm, there's so many routes that you can take when you do this. And you basically just got to expect the unexpected. But that's when the best things come because it's like, 
you can always have a vision in mind, oh, this is what I'm going to do, this is how it's going to sound, but at the end of the day, that's not how it's going to be. And I think it's important that we abandon these, like, instincts that we have. Like, I thought, okay, well, I usually sample R&B and stuff like that, so I'm thinking, oh, this is my record. But, I mean, Rick Rubin said it first, but don't assume something's right just because the way you've always done it. And I think that was something that I took away from this because, I don't know, I just did not think that I was going to sample that record at all. But, um, very fun experience. And I'm going to keep making music, keep sampling. <laughs>